and how you carry yourself. Beauty is how you carry yourself. It's your aura, your energy. Yes, it is. And luxury isn't just about fancy things. It can be the way you carry yourself as well. Hey, hey, people, it's your girl Esther Ray, and this is not for my village people. I think perspective is actually a gift. It's a gift to have a different perspective to the other person you are having conversations with, and it just makes it all interesting, isn't it? So on this platform, we're going to share personal stories. Be open minded listen in pick what you can pick from it do you understand on different topics because we're going to be talking about different topics from friendship to marriages to life happenings to growing up to backgrounds to careers to businesses so different people will be coming on this platform and i'm looking forward to sharing my perspectives my stories and exciting information just for you to learn from it it won't be new things that you've not heard before but i'm hoping this platform will serve as a kind of a reminder for you to connect back to that you need to connect to once again it's not for my village people guys thank you hey it's your girl esther and I am here again to do this. I almost didn't make it on here and I'm hoping I can upload this on Friday. But today, it's been a minute as well that I've just been here by myself. I have had companies in the past three episodes, isn't it? And what did you guys think about it? Don't forget, it's very important on any of the platforms that you're listening to my podcast on please be kind people i am actually begging i'm humble begging humbly begging you guys kindly follow and leave your comments especially on the platforms where you're able to leave your comments please leave your comments so i know what to talk about whenever i come here doing my gb jabber and let me know what you think about the last three episodes as well where i had people on here i want to know what your takes are on on those episodes and today we're talking about something else but you know we don't get into it if i don't do my quotes right? If I don't do my quotes, we're not going anywhere. We're not going into it at all. So today, to give you an idea, I really believe you can carry yourself in such a way that people don't notice you. Yes, that's just like some words from my head because yes, it's true. I do believe you can carry yourself in such a way that people don't notice you, that you become invisible to people generally to both humans and animals. (laughs) Yes, you can carry yourself in such a way. And also, beauty is how you carry yourself. It's your aura, your energy. Yes, it is. And luxury isn't just about fancy things. It can be the way you carry yourself as well. And how you carry yourself, what you stand for, that's how you gain respect. What do you guys think? Today, we're going to be talking about how you carry yourself, because I am a big believer on the way you carry yourself is a source of personal power. Yes, it is. It's your power. The way you show up, the way you present yourself, the way you attend to things, that first impression. What do you leave when you meet people? When people meet you, how do they leave you? I was invited to speak at an event today and part of the things I was talking about was, it was actually, we're talking about leadership, leading with confidence. It was to young adults I was having this conversation with. And part of it is how you show up. At the beginning of this year, I said this year, this is my year of showing up. This is my year of showing up. First impressions matter with whatever, whatever you're doing. How you show up matters. How you carry yourself. Luxury is not just in material things. Luxury is how you carry yourself, how you show up, how you appear. Recently, I recorded on social media about seasons, the ugly, the good, the bad seasons, and the importance of self-awareness during those seasons, how you attend, how you react, Your behavior in each season determines the fulfillment of the next season. It's just like showing up as well. How you carry yourself 
is very important. The way you present yourself to others can influence their perception of you. Do you know that? What you say, how you show, how you dress up, what you think, how you respond, the perceptives, the percept, you know, you share. Because people can't really know, especially when they're just passing by, you know, they, they, you know, when you meet people on your journey to something and they just have that opportunity, you don't know if you're going to meet them again. Come with your A game. Always be aware because you don't know where you're going to meet those people again, where they're going to hear about you. I worked with one person, I worked with someone on a project that just once in my industry, you, you know, you tend to, it's a very small, it's not very, very small, but it's small still. And we get the opportunity and as a contractor, as a consultant contractor, you get to work with different people every now and again. But sometimes you find yourself working with the same people on several projects. There are people I've worked with on three projects, on four projects, on five projects. But this person, I've only worked with him once. And there are some things he's done for me recently that I'm just thinking, what did you see? What did I leave in you for you to think so highly? You know, for you to think, think of me this way. How do you carry yourself? How you carry yourself encompasses various aspects of the things you're going to be, go through, experience in life, your physical appearance, body language, demeanor, communication style. Carrying yourself is very important for the tomorrow you want to see. You're living today. Today is, you know, today is is a day. But just like it came, it's going to go. And tomorrow will come. Next tomorrow will come. Next week will come. I'm sure you know that. Like I always say, the things I'm going to say on this platform is not just, it's not things you've never heard before you don't know, but it will serve as a reminder just in case you, uh, you're you missing it. You're forgetting it. It's sliding out of your palms right now and you're just showing up however, whatever. I kind of, whatever. I'm a mom to an eight month old baby. And I remember the early stages when she just came home or when we brought her home. And sometimes, no, actually this really happened. So my first daughter, I did exclusive for my first daughter. Thanks to my big sister that convinced me that it was the best thing that would ever happen to any baby on earth. And I did exclusive. Eight months, eight whole months. I fed my first daughter only breast milk. Like eight whole months. I don't know how I survived it. I don't know. And by the time we we're going to stop, it's a very funny story. Whenever I tell it, people just laugh. By the time we stopped, it happened that I'd counted, I'd already started working then, and I'd counted how many bags of milk that she drinks throughout the day. So when I came back from work, I told my husband, you know, when this little human being is hungry, just bring her to my chest so she can feed. And the bags in the freezer can just stay there in order for you to have enough for her tomorrow. Because I was supposed to, I'm timed, you know, when you, mothers know this, mothers understand what I mean. Australian as some mothers. I've timed myself in a way where I knew there were six bags left in the freezer and I needed maybe three extra to get her through the day before I come back from work the next day. So I'm like, don't touch it. Don't, don't you dare touch it. Just bring her to me if she's hungry. And I went to just nap because you need your, you need your sanity as well. If you want to express, you need to be well rested and all of that, all of the shenanigans. So I went to bed only to realize I was actually really tired. I was exhausted and I did not wake up until my actual expressing time, which was about 2 a.m., so they were both asleep. They had gone to bed like normal people should. So I came down to and I was like, oh, does this child not even heat at all from 5 p.m.? I came back from work, 2 a.m. I didn't sense anybody was feeding from me. At least I would notice. <laughs> but I decided to check the freezer and I noticed three of the bags were gone, which means I had to express six bags at 2 a.m. in the morning. I was... Even before I could count the three bags, I was in tears. So I went upstairs and I woke my husband in tears. He must have been scared to death. Like, what's going on? Are you okay? And I was like, but I told you, but I asked you to wake me up. You shouldn't have given out the bags in the freezer. He looked at me so confused and he was like, 
but I didn't drink it. I gave it to the baby. <laughs> funny story, isn't it? Yes, yeah. <laughs> funny, funny story. And yeah, it was then I decided, you know what? That's it. The end of expressing or whatever for my first daughter. So my second daughter, I attempted, I was, I planned to do the breastfeeding stuff. I did, I planned it. I was going to be fair enough to feed her, to give her junior like, you know, this exclusive thing for five months at least. But then I brought him a hungry baby. And on the seventh week, then she had joined us and I was just losing weight like crazy <laughs> at this point because nothing could st just stay in me. She was feeding every, I think, 20 minutes or 30 minutes, if I'm not mistaken now. It was crazy. So I was drinking and she was collecting. I was drinking. She was collecting. At seven weeks old, she had woken up, I think, around 5 a.m. to feed. And I was like, there is nothing in here anymore for you to feed on. I got in my car and I drove to Tesco. Tesco wouldn't open until maybe an hour later. But I was the first person at Tesco that day to buy after meal so I could feed this human being. Yes. But then I went in my PJs as well. <laughs> I showed up as I could. So sometimes it's hard. But if you know the journey you're on, it's very, very important that you carry yourself. Now, that's just an example of a mother, of a, you know, of a nursing mother, a struggling mother, a mother that just wanted to, you know, just, just wanted to stand on her two feet with this little baby trying to eat her all out and all that stuff. Yeah. But yes, first impressions matter. People will form their initial judgments of you based on how you carry yourself the first time they meet you. Hopefully all the people you meet the first time you get the opportunity to meet them the second time, but it's not usually the case, is it? So your appearance, your posture, your non-verbal cues, all those things, they can either convey confidence, professionalism, that you're approachable, or the other way, or all the other things. And those things can definitely, 100%, can definitely impact how others perceive and interact with you. How you carry yourself, your confidence and your self-esteem, it reflects the level of self-confidence and self-esteem you've got. By the way you carry yourself, you don't know it. I said earlier, you know, one of the quotes I read earlier about your, the way you carry yourself can make you invisible to people. It's important for you to present yourself in a positive and self-assured manner. And you're more likely to feel confidence and inspire confidence in others as well. If you carry yourself with confidence and self-esteem, your professional success as well has a lot to do with how you carry yourself. Yes, it does. In any professional setting, you're the minor, it can influence your chances of success. Do you believe in yourself when you open your mouth? When you say anything, can people sense it? Can people see it? Can people see how you're fidgeting? How you're unsure? How you doubt your own self, your skills? I had a client this week that was telling me about an interview that did not go well. And he asked for feedback after the interview. And part of it was that he was using methods that showed he wasn't confident enough. So he knew the methods to use. I think it was a data analyst interview. So they were practical part of it and there were the other part of it. So the practical side of things, they were asking him to, I think, to either break down a big data or something. And he knew the method because he eventually got to the method, but he wasted a lot of time doubting himself and just doing other stuff of, in a different way. And as a result of that, he showed that he wasn't confident enough. Your employers, your colleagues... For business owners, your clients, they are more likely to trust and respect you if you project professionalism, competence, and a strong work ethic as well. All of these are ways you carry yourself. How do you carry yourself? Your professional relationships as well. I just told you the story about the colleague I worked with once. One time, one time. We've not had the opportunity to work together since then. But one time we work together and anytime we talk, in rooms is mentioned my name, people is referred to me. I am just like, and it's not the only one actually, actually talking about it now, I have a few like that. I worked together, I worked with one time 
one time, one time, one time, either with my day job, my nine to five, or as a coach. And it's very important, you know, that people are generally drawn to individuals who exude positivity, authenticity, and good manners. I say this all the time. Be good people. Be good people. Do you sleep well at night with how you've behaved the day in the day? Be good people. I will give it to you how you give it to me. Well done. I hope it's working for you as long as you can sleep at night. If you sleep well at night, that's all. But I choose to show up in a certain way. It doesn't make me miss goody two shoes or whatever they call it. That's just what makes me and helps me sleep better at night. And people know it. People see it. I was talking to a friend earlier today, not too long ago, actually. And she was like, that's the thing. The thing about you is you just don't know how to hold a grudge. (laughs) Yes, I actually do not. I actually do know. I don't. And if you know me, I know people take advantage of it. I don't know how to hold a grudge. Especially my husband. I feel like my husband is one of, like, first on the list of those that take advantage of me not knowing how to take a grudge because he can be mad at me. I will be the first person to go back to him. You know what, dude, sit down. Let's have a chat about it. Let's talk about it because I need my sanity. I need downloads. I need to think straight. I need to sleep better. I don't sleep. I don't like sleep a lot. Like I'm not a good, it's not a talent. It's not a gift. It's not one of my gifts to sleep. <laughs> I could go to bed at three and I'll be up at 6 a.m. Yeah. Where my body is, I, I don't know. The other day, my sister sent me a post on on Instagram that was saying I needed maybe magnesium or something. Maybe that's what has been affecting my sleep. I smiled about it because, oh my, if you know how many things I've used, even apps that I pay for and all of these things. I have a very, I have an hyperactive mind and brain and it's always working. Not that those that sleep, their brains are not working. I'm sure it is working, but unfortunately for me, Unfortunately for me, yeah, I started living alone at a very young age and I was with myself a lot, alone, alone, myself a lot, alone, alone with myself, with my thought, with my, you know, with just me, 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 me. I was my everything. So I guess that has also, it's a what happened to me syndrome. Now I don't sleep well. I wish I could. Even when I use sleeping tablets, yeah, which is not good. I'm trying not to get addicted to it, but yeah, I still don't sleep as long as normal people would if they use sleeping tablets. Building strong connections with others often starts with presenting yourself in genuine and respectful manner. There are people that have that gift. They can smell BS from a mile away. From a mile away. You don't know who you're going to run into, who you're going to meet. Show up correct. Your self-expression as well. Because how you carry yourself can be a form of self-expression. It can reflect your personality, your values, your individuality, your type of person. How you carry yourself includes even the social media, the things you post, the things you talk about. How you carry yourself. When you consciously choose how to present yourself, when you're intentional about how you present yourself, trust me, you have an opportunity to communicate who you are and what you stand for. At my small age, (laughs) I want to think and believe that those that know me know what I stand for now. People that know you, do they know what you stand for? Or it's just a, mm, maybe, mm. the other day I was asked to write a reference for someone I know, someone I know, someone really close to me. And I didn't know what to write about them. I didn't know them. I just didn't know them. So I ended up having to ask them to write the reference themselves. Like, you know, write it, I'll read it and I'll see if I can sign it. I don't know you. I don't know what you stand for. When you're looking on working on carrying yourself a type of way, it's important for you to know what you stand for as well. And please remember that carrying yourself well does not mean you're conforming to a particular mold or pretending to be someone you're not i know the same fake it till you make it yes yes yeah it's applicable in some situations but it's very important when we talk about carrying yourself a certain way that you're true to yourself you're displaying confidence respect professionalism 
and treating others with kindness and empathy. You've not been diagnosed as being bipolar, but today you're hot and tomorrow you're cold. You react according to situations. Yeah, you know, because a vibe is a kind of, you know, a lot of people say that the vibe you give me is what I, I, I wish I knew how to do that. I, I, do you know, I feel like it's a skill on its own. I'll probably just move away and not, you know, if you have a kind of a vibe that it's not just working for me, but for me to then change my actual vibe to fit in with your weird or your not come correct kind of vibe, I don't know how to do it. So you just not hear from me. I will just go mute. I just, you know, as much as I love talking, I will just go quiet on you i will not have anything opinion suggestion addition contribution to make so i will not try and confirm to your own decision on how you carry yourself and i learned i had to learn it i had to learn it i had to learn it so going back to how we started today the way you carry yourself is a source of personal power do you know your own personal power do you and beauty is how you carry yourself. It's your horror, your energy. And always remember that luxury isn't just about fancy things. It can be the way you carry yourself. And this is 100% accurate. I believe you can carry yourself in such a way that people don't notice you. You become invisible. It's another episode of Not For My Village People. Don't be your own village people and carry yourself in a way that you become invisible on earth. Thank you for listening once again. Please, guys, follow, like, share, drop a comment here and there. Send me an email. So let me know what you would like me to talk about again or what you would like me to talk about. Or if there's something you would like to talk about, or you even want to come to the podcast, send me an email on notformyvillagepeople at gmail.com. I would really like to hear from you. Remember, I know I always say I love perspective. I want to hear from your perspective. What do you think about some of the things I've talked about before or some of the things that you just want to discuss and put out there as well? Use your voice. You've got a voice. Use it. Use it. Thank you all so much. Have a great day ahead and enjoy your day. Bye for now.